Here's how we can use your blood to treat dry eye. Autologous serum drops, or more simply serum tears, are considered a more natural or holistic way to treat your dry eye. Serum is part of our blood, and in that blood serum, you will find proteins, enzymes, growth factors, and even vitamin A. Those are all crucial in maintaining the health of the front of the eyes, and those are all components found within our natural tears. Here at Fraser Eye, you can come to any one of our clinics for your serum tears. Upon arrival, one of our trained technicians will perform the blood draw. They will then put the blood through a device called a centrifuge and that's going to separate out the blood serum from the blood cells. Once we've isolated that serum, we will then add a preservative-free saline solution and that will be what creates the eye drops themselves. Our patients will go home with two bottles. One of them will be sent home on an ice pack and that will go right into the freezer when you get home and it'll stay there until it's ready to be opened. The other bottle will remain in the refrigerator when it's not in use. Now, with these drops being preservative-free, we have to be mindful of contamination. So, always practice good hygiene before using your drops. Make sure you wash your hands and always avoid the eye dropper from touching the eye or the skin or tissues around it. If you ever notice that your clear bottle is now hazy or cloudy, or if you ever notice a foul odor coming from it, immediately discontinue those drops, call the office, and let's get you back so we can get you a new bottle of tears. Some other tips for a successful blood draw would be in the few days beforehand, increase your fluid take, drink lots of water, and also try to avoid eating fatty foods or very greasy foods as those can sometimes make their way into the blood draw, into the serum, which ultimately would make the serum tears less effective for you. If you're interested in serum tears or have any questions about them, go ahead and drop a comment below.